Hi guys, well I'm talking a few favorites and then I'm going to add in an outfit of the day. So we'll see how that goes. I usually do outfits of the day on vacation, so I'm not used to doing them here or I'll like post them on my Instagram. So we'll see how it works with this camera. Um, first off, let me just talk about our new stud packs from Stella and Dot. If you follow me on Instagram that I posted a picture of some of our new studs, I love stud earrings, I have always have. Not that I don't wear others, you know, from time to time, but those are just my go-to. I pretty much every day put in the sparkle studs. Um, if you follow me, then you know we have the new smoky sparkle studs for holiday, which are gorgeous. Um, so anyway, the studs I'm wearing right now are from this pack, and I love that because this time of year, um, Stella and Dot has little gift packs. They come, you know, already in a little box. They're great for gift giving and they're great prices. So this one here, the little gold disc, comes with these black studs. And I didn't have anything like these. We also have another one with silver little discs and pearls. Of course, I have both of those in really similar styles, so I didn't get that one. But I love just the black and I love the size of them. And these I just thought were absolutely great. So I just wanted to talk about those because loving studs, love all the new studs that we're offering for holiday. I didn't pick up a ton from the collection. That's why I didn't do a specific video. I did show a few pieces on my Instagram story. So be sure to follow me on Instagram. If you haven't seen me in a while on here or something, you can bet I'm probably still on Instagram. And speaking of that, I did put a little bit of update a couple weeks ago um, about why there really kind of hadn't been any videos. I put that on my Miss Crystal Facebook page. So that's always linked below. Again, follow me on social media at least somewhere because that's where you'll stay up to date most of the time. Okay, so I have a few makeup products. I have some TV shows, some good new fall TV we'll talk about, and um, some books I've read. So just real quick, one to talk about makeup. I have been back into the Makeup Forever HD. This is the Ultra HD. And what got me into this is I got a little sample here, you know, that deluxe sample that Sephora had a while back. This was in a shade 125, a little bit dark for me, but I could make it work. You know, so I thought, oh, it looks good. Well, I have to say what kind of convinced me too is one day I was at my plastic surgeon's office, you know, who treats my acne scarring and all that. And he and the nurse both said my skin looked great that day. The only thing different I had been doing is I had on this makeup. And he's, you know, up close looking at me. Um, so anyway, I was like, whoa, if he thinks it looks good. I think, like I said, I hadn't done anything different the night before. I think I'd probably used my um, radical skincare, you know, peel pads, but so I thought I would go out and get one shade lighter. This is 119 and this is a really good match for me. Even when I'm self tanning, which I do have a little bit of tanner on, this still works really well. The other one is a bit dark for me. I don't know. I like it. I feel like I've already been out today and then come back in. So who knows what it looks like now, but I do like this. I have not been loving my makeup a lot lately. I feel like it's one of those, whatever I put on, you know, it's just like, oh, it's not looking as good. It's probably my skin. Um, that's probably a whole other story because I've kind of changed that up a little bit again, even though I just did an updated skincare video recently. So excuse this video, it's probably gonna be all over the place, but that's what happens when I haven't sat down and talked to y'all for a little bit. So the next thing is really great, and I showed this, I think, in Instagram again. So Pixie sent me some products, and there's two of them here that I really like. So this is a duo. It's their Beauty Blush Duo and, Kabu and Kabuki. The color I have is uh, Peach Honey. So it looks like this, and it comes with this Kabuki. And I mean, this is like seriously one of the softest brushes I've ever felt. So amazing quality brush. Look, I love Pixie's packaging too. I've had um, a few products from theirs over the years and I use that correcting concentrate, you guys know, but I just love the color and the simplicity. So it's basically like a little duo here of a highlight and a blush, but I kind of like swirling them together and it gives you just a really beautiful glowy blush. I'll try to show you here if I can. I, I don't think it's going to swatch very well, but it's just very, very glowy. I hope you can see the glow just really, really pretty. I mean, it would look good on so many skin tones, even on darker skin tones, it would be like I said, a beautiful highlight. So really been enjoying that. And something also from Pixie that I'm wearing right now, I had on Too Faced um, Naked Dolly, but then I put this over it. 
This is what they're calling their glossy lip plumper. I don't really notice any plumping. It has a slight minty scent to it, but that dissipates really quickly and I don't feel any minty feel on the lips. This is in the color Honey Sheen. So it's just a really, really pretty, just kind of nude color, but I love that little bit of peachiness to it. So I will try to swatch that again. Not sure how much you're gonna see it, but it's right there. See, you can see just that little bit of peachiness. That's what I really like about it. It's not too nude. I can't wear two nudes. I have to have a little bit of pink to my nude, but I can wear this and I really like the color and just the feel. So as far as makeup, I have pulled back out. I just bought a new one today. Uh, I picked up a few things at Ulta. I bought a new iced mocha in the jumbo pencil from um, NYX. This thing has seen better days. It's pretty old, but I have been wearing this a ton again lately, just on the lower lash line. One of those simple makeup looks I've been doing for weeks now, but brought this back out. Absolutely love it. And what I've been doing is just wearing like one uh, single shade on my eyes. Like basically I'll put a highlight, um, you know, on my brow bone and then I just use one shade. Now, of course, I'm not wearing hardly any of this stuff today. And that the way it always works talking about favorites. I mean, never fails. I didn't know if I was going to film a video today is why, but, um, and then just again, the one shade. So True Taupe by NYX is one of them that is an absolute must have, I feel like. It's just a really great shade and I've not really seen anything comparable to this shade. It's a great just all over or crease color. And then also another one is by Milani. This is in Bella Taupe. Another just great all over the lid shade or deepening up the crease. This one obviously is deeper. Um, than the taupe shade, but both work great. It's just one color, you're done. You can deepen it up a little bit and you're off. As far as blush, I've brought back out an old favorite. And it was funny when people had asked me, I've had several people ask me to do the ride or die makeup tag. I don't know if I'm just stuck in my head that I can't stand that phrase, ride or die, when it comes to makeup. I just think it's stupid. So I don't know if I'm like, on that like oh I don't want to do it because of that and then some categories I really don't know that I would even have a product to be honest but it would come down to probably one of two blushes for me this would be one of them this is the elf blush in mellow mauve I've talked about this for years I bring it out every single fall I'm just starting there you can see just starting to hit pan on this love it, it has a nice satin sheen to it and it just works great for many skin tones but to me it's that typical fall shade I feel like for my skin tone it's just definitely a great fall color but it's it works for everything too I found myself recently when I wasn't loving my makeup didn't know what I wanted to wear it's like go back to the basics go back to what you love so I brought this out love it okay so that's kind of it for makeup like I said not loving a lot lately I have some new products though that I've either been sent or purchased recently that I need to try out. So I'll update you on those. So as far as TV, uh, really loving Designated Survivor. It's a new show with Kiefer Sutherland, all of us big 24 fans from back in the day. It's really great to see him back on TV. And I really love um, just the whole show, like the concept of it, you know. So it's really great. If you haven't watched it, get caught up. I think they're about, what, three, four weeks in maybe now already, four episodes? I'm not sure, but it's a great show. I think it's on ABC on Wednesday nights, possibly. But that's awesome. And then, I don't know if I mentioned it, but we started watching Quantico. I think I mentioned it on Twitter. Uh, watched, started watching Quantico on Netflix. So last year was its first season. It sucked me in right away. I just love shows like that. That's totally my kind of show. If you like How to Get Away with Murder, how it bounces back from the present to, you know, um, you know, like six months or a few months ago, and it keeps going back and forth. And you, the more, the more the show goes on, the more things keep getting revealed. It's that type of show. So I really like it. Of course, season two just started this season. So I made sure that I recorded it so that when we were finished with season one, we'd be ready to catch up. I think we've watched maybe two 
or three episodes of season two. Still liking it. It's not really as good yet as season one, but I still like it and I like the characters and the whole concept kind of of the show. So that's a good one. And then Notorious. Notorious is a new show. Um, I want to say it may be on ABC as well. I think it's on right before How to Get Away with Murder. So we're still watching that as well. It to me is getting a little played out. It's not as exciting as the first season and even the second was kind of but um, it's kind of getting good. But this may be, I'm wondering, their last season, How to Get Away with Murder. But anyway, Notorious is on right before that. And I thought the previews just looked really good. And the first episode was awesome, I thought. Ever since then, though, to me, it's not lived up to the first episode, but it's still good enough that I keep watching. I think because I like the characters. One of the main characters, he was in... Um, Graceland and I mentioned Graceland on Netflix that we watched and really liked so he's in that and that's kind of what got me into it because I liked his character on that and I just like him as an actor so it is pretty good still though um so we are liking it and I can call it a favorite because there's not too often that like many shows come out new that I'm really into. So as far as books, I had mentioned um, Southern Solstice, I think in a favorites a month or two ago, that I just loved that book. It was a great book. And then I was waiting for kind of like the sequel to come out, her next book. So Southern Solstice was her first book from that author. And um, the second one was good, but it wasn't as good. And I've find that to be true sometimes from new authors. The second won't be as good, but yet then after that they will. Um, I don't know. There's another author that I read too. The um, same thing. It takes place in Charleston. I can't think of the name right now, but I've mentioned before. It's like a little murder mystery series. Um, her second one I didn't like as well as the first, but then ever since then they've been great. So um, I'm hoping that's the case, but this one's called Southern Most and I still really enjoyed it. I like that author. Um, I'm hoping she'll come out with more books and you know just anything kind of taking place in the south and charleston i'm really into and then i saw so my kindle here right now and then i read the good girl i kind of have mixed feelings about the good girl i liked it and it has a really good surprise ending um but I don't know. I didn't love the characters in it. It was one of those I kept reading it because I wanted to find out what happened. It was interesting enough that it kept me going, but I'd have to say it's one of those I didn't really love any of the characters or related to them or didn't really find them likable, but yet it was a good enough kind of story to keep you guessing, if that makes sense. So, um, right now I am reading The Wrong Man by Kate White. Y'all know I love Kate White. I've read all of her books up to this point. This is a new, her newest one. I just like her writing. Of course, I've read so many of her books that I'm already trying to figure out who done it and, you know, what's going on, but it never fails. She always surprises me, which is good because you'd think after this many years of reading all of her books, I would figure it out. Um, she's one of those books that never lets me down from the first couple pages. I'm like hooked, you know, and I love books like that. I don't want to read a quarter of the book before it starts getting good. So if you love mysteries, I've often mentioned Kate White. She has great ones. She has a series with a central character in it called ba Bailey Wiggins, but then she also has some standalone mysteries. So I'm going to show you all what I'm wearing today, a little outfit of the day for you and try this out. See how you like it. See if it works in this room. Not sure the lighting is great for this kind of thing. And then I'll catch back up with you. Okay, so we're going to try out the outfit of the day in this room. I realize the lighting is not great, but so um, this is the little studs from the stud pack. I've never done this with this large camera. You know, normally when I do outfits of the day, I'm on vacation. I use a smaller camera. Um, the Jolie necklace, which this is just stunning. Love this. And let's see. I've got David Smallcomb bangles and my leopard watch from Stella and Dot. And let's see if you can see it on this one. I got this ring. I will list all these below. This ring goes awesome with the necklace, by the way. So this shirt, I loved it because it was a slight cap sleeve and that usually looks good on me because I have broad shoulders. But I love that it was loose and had this pleated and of course the color got me and I thought, you know, this is great with jeans or you could wear it with black pants, dress it up. These jeans have become my absolute favorite brand. They're from Nordstrom, I will link them below. The ones with the holes in them, the distress you always see me wear, they're the same brand. You can see that, um, 
The cuff is cut off at the bottom, which is great because I can wear them with like booties like this. I can wear them with flats um, and they're a great length for me. The only thing in my true size, I feel like they get, they're extremely stretchy. So I feel like they start stretching out. Um, I'm afraid to get one size smaller that they might be too tight, but they are very stretchy. So something to keep in mind. Um, my Tom's booties, have those, love those. And so anyway, this is my outfit today. Like I said, just real casual. It's still hot here like it is most <laughs> everywhere. But, you know, peep toe booties, uh, you know, short sleeve shirt. It still looks fall-ish. But so anyway, that is my outfit of the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below what you all are loving. As always, I will link everything I mentioned in the description box below. Hope you all have a good day and thanks so much for watching. Bye.